Oh my gosh, it's so lifelike. <laughs> the first time I rounded the corner, I was like, what is that? <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. All right, so admittedly, the lighting is not the best, but we are here today at Emmitsburg Antique Mall. Um, it's been about a month or two since we were here last, so I'm hoping there are some new treasures. We're gonna head in and see what we can find, we can buy, and flip for a profit, so here we go. All right, well today I am starting at this booth right here, booth 218. We've had amazing luck here in the past. We found some real treasures, so um, I figured this was a great place to start. Looks like they've got some nice jewelry in here. Nice turquoise ring, and I love those earrings. A little kitty back here. Vintage cat, twelve dollars. That is very sweet. Got a whole bunch of little. Cannons here. I wonder if those are toy cannons. Let's see. Sharpener. Oh, is it a pencil sharpener? I don't understand how it works. I don't think a pencil could fit in there. <laughs> Maybe it's just a sharpener brand? I don't know. It is pretty cool. I would get it for Andrew, but he literally just got himself a cannon yesterday. All right, and here we are at the Poppycock Emporium. This is nice. Pressed flower vase, signed. I, I don't know. Detox? Detox? I'm not sure. It's $13. I love these pressed flower pieces. Um, they remind me of the pottery my mom used to buy when we lived in Cape Cod. Salt marsh. So much pottery. So we'll, we'll stick that in here. I also, of course, I like this as well. Little Mexico pottery turtle. Some salt and pepper shakers down here. These guys are kind of fun. Like little blobs. They have a sticker on there. Or Phila. Imported into Philadelphia. These little guys are so sweet. Sweet pixies. <laughs> I love that that's what's on the tag. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Price is $18 for the pair of them. I can't tell. Hmm. I don't know who makes these, but the pair of them are just adorable. I think I might grab these. All right, well, when I walked in here, I turned the radio down, so I was just getting ready to turn it back up when I noticed this. Thames yellow vase. I love the white on that. It's only twelve dollars, so I'll take that as well. Oops. I gotta reach back here and turn this up. So I noticed this uh, fish bowl sitting on top of this <laughs> lucite and um, sunflower table. That's actually really neat. I kind of like that. Um, but I, it's signed. Del Delaney looks like, and I just absolutely love the fish and the colors. Um, it's only fourteen dollars, so I think we're gonna add this to our little basket. I was walking past this booth here and noticed a tumble up in the back. They've got thirty-five dollars on it. It actually has a tray with it, which I did not know that these tumble ups came with trays. So that's a little new to me. $35 is a I'm not sure I could double my money at $35. I could make some money, but I it wouldn't be able to double it. So it is really cool. I 
I think I might have to leave it for 35. I was noticing this in the back. And there we go. Van Briggle. Van Briggle Ashtray. I love the stylized deer on that. That's what it is. It's Emma. And a Van Briggle. So this booth right here is running a 20% off sale. There are items I've seen in here before that I just couldn't do because they were right at retail. But with 20% off, that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So I figured we would look through here. See what we can find. Here's a Fenton Bird. I've got $27 on that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure we can still make money on that guy. We've got this enameled um, little trinket box here. It might be for might have been for powder originally. We've got $18 on this um, with 20% off. I think that's something I would I would grab because I just love the florals on that. They're bright and colorful, even though the glass is clear. And I don't typically pick up clear glass. Um, so we'll grab that. These are really neat as well. Beautiful ornaments. We've got some uh, level pottery plates here. Ten plates. I think there was 12 days of Christmas, though, right? So, I think two are missing. <laughs> 65 firm on those. Looks like Eldrith. Yep, Eldrith back there. I do like the Louisville, but... Mm. If it was a complete set, I might consider it. Oh my gosh, look at these pigs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, I love them. $39. And there's two of them. I think they're $39 a piece. Oh my goodness. They're so sweet. <laughs> Somebody put a lot of work into those, and I just think they're the greatest, but I don't know at $39 if I could do anything with that. They're $39 each, not as a pair. Oh my god, wait, wait, no wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this little pony. Oh. And we got a donkey back here. And this bull. Oh, he's even got a brand on his butt. Look at that. JB. Oh, maybe that's the signature. Oh, this one's marked. Gilda Goodwin. Gilda Goodwin. Alright, well, back here in the corner, I noticed we had some glass and this piece is the one that really caught my eye. $24 museum collection. Fenton Museum Collection. It needs to be cleaned up. It's a little dirty. $24 on this one. It's kind of a stretch glass, but it's also blue opalescent. That one's pretty, so I'll um take this one. The other ones are nice, but I think this one is my favorite. We've got all of the Miss Press in here. It looks like $95 on the cookie jar. $35 on the little shakers. Is this also Miss Press? I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen it in yellow before. A little winking cat. $169 for the teapot. And $12 on the creamer. No, that's on the bear. Maybe. Yes, the bear. <laughs> I was like, wow. They've got the sugar bowl. I might have to comp this stuff out because I've never, I don't think I've ever sold Miss Press before. All right, well, I'm not sure there's much room for us in these pieces. So we're going to have to walk away. It's still a fantastic price, though, for anyone who wanted it for their own collection. $95 is a good deal. You don't even have to pay shipping if you were to come here and pick it up. Some beautiful flow blue plates here. I like that design. I like the scalloped edge on those. You guys know <laughs> I have been on the hunt for flow blue dinner plates forever, and I recently got a whole bunch of them. 
um, at an auction. Um, but these are $13 a piece. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. I usually find these. They're $20 to $25 a piece for these flow plates. Six, seven, there's seven there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten bowls. I really, I kind of like this pattern more than the, the one I have. That's why I'm considering it. All right, I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> I figure I could sell the other ones um, and keep these ones. So I've got a stack of seven plates here and seven bowls. And uh, it's the Duchess, England. So, I don't know. I just I love that Art Nouveau pattern around the edge. So I will sell my other ones and replace them with these. Just upgrade it. All right, well, this booth here was occupied when I went by it the first time, but... This time, <laughs> I noticed this glass Christmas tree, five dollars. Now this is not um, hand blown, or if it is, it's blown in mold because you can see the mold seams there. So this would not be hand blown glass, but it's just five bucks. I feel like that's a good deal for it. Oh, you know what? Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> five dollar Christmas tree. I like the little uh, green ribbons of glass on the inside. I was walking by and couldn't help but notice all these turtles here in the back of this booth. These ones with the big eyelashes. $15 for the set. Looks like they only paid a buck fifty. <laughs> it's really hard to get that uh, permanent marker off. Um, I think I'm going to do it for 15 bucks. I love those eyelashes. And what do we have here? Chip on tail as found. Oh, that's crazy. You know what? I just saw one of these over at a Yesteryear Antiques. Had the same tail chip. Exact same bird. <laughs> same tail chip. Such a shame. It's even got its original sticker. Got a hundred bucks on it though. I'm not sure I could do much with it with that tail chip. We are going to grab our turtles here. <laughs> it's a little frightening. It's very lifelike. $750 on him. That's terrifying. Put that on my front lawn and see how many accidents that causes. <laughs> oh my gosh. $750. I just have to touch it to see what it's made out of. Plastic. Oh my gosh, it's so lifelike. <laughs> the first time I ran to the corner, I was like, what is that? <laughs> well, here we've got a pair of Lucite candle holders. They're kind of um, red with gold on the inside. They probably would have had candles to match, but I have candles at the shop that are clear with gold. And um, I think that for $15 for the pair, I might grab those once I turn my camera off. Christmas head base. I wonder if she's more modern. She's beautiful though. Definitely caught my eye. All right, let's peek through here. A little fence and swan. Eighteen dollars a month. Oh man, this vase in the back. Thirty-five dollars for this haker. that's the peacock glaze because it's just so red and orange. A lot of the times when I see the peacock glaze it has more uh, blues in it as well. $35 for that. Then we've got the orange one over here. The orange one is 22 and it is marked there on the bottom. Decisions, decisions. 
They're both beautiful, and I love how they complement each other because they both have these warm tones. Hmm. All right. All right, I'll do it. I also noticed this little Japan. I think it's a double bud vase. Maybe it's for um, spills for the fire. Birds on fence, $10. I'll take that with this as well. So the two Hager vases, the bird, and I also, of course, grabbed the Lucite candlesticks. Some great stuff out of this booth. All right, well, I just spotted this little piggy, and, uh, oh, he's marked on the bottom. George? Is George his name? <laughs> it's like little flowers, and I thought that might be Joseph Originals. Got a little sleeping mama pig here. She's missing all her babies. Look at all the ceramic Christmas trees. Tis the season. <laughs> Got $45 on the little one. A hundred on the larger one. I've got one at the shop. I gotta get over to the booth. Real big one. Look at this guy. He's a light, light up snowman. All right, well, I feel like we'll browse through this booth. Gosh, I feel like I've looked at this before. <laughs> it's just so freaky. Triangle eyes and a triangle mouth. Oh, look at this aluminum tree, $1.99. I have a five foot aluminum tree at the shop. They're asking $1.99 for this. They have a box. Yes, we also have a box. I gotta get mine set up for Christmas. Oh, we've got birds here. Germany. Parrot. $20 on the parrot. All right, well here we have a Jadeite salt and pepper shaker. $69. Since we've come into a lot of the Jadeite, <laughs> Um, from the Gus House. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words because I just realized that that is a post-mortem photo and gray photo. I'm, that's interesting. Um, but what I was saying about these <laughs> were that I think from researching that these are McKee. Um, and the way I'm determining that is by the font on those. I noticed the font, some of the newer ones, is a little bit different. And also the shape. So I'm going to venture a guess and say McKee, and if I'm right, let me know in the comments because I am trying to learn a little bit more about the Jada. You guys know it scared me for a very long time, but I think that's what those are. This Santa here, I was going to say that looks like a boo-boo, but it's glazed over, so it's likely a manufacturer's defect. It looks like Italy. It is Italy. It's an Italian Santa Claus candy or cookie jar, and it's only $10. I don't think I've ever seen that guy before. So we will grab that. And it looks like the only damage is that, but you can see there it is completely glazed over, so it happened before they glazed it. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, it is a mid-century <gasps> wonderland. Please, darling, do not sit on me. Wow, that's an amazing condition. 349, original fiberglass shades. Do they have the original finials? No. Actually, it might have been the original finial. They look to be hair to me with those knots. And, um, wow, I love them. Here we have a spaghetti poodle. It was a few years ago I was here and they had two Italian spaghettis here on this exact shelf. And uh, they were absolutely amazing. So here we are again with a spaghetti poodle. Although this one is likely Japan because of the the little um, angel hair pasta. <laughs> when it's like more spaghetti than it's Italian, this would be considered Japanese. But I love that he's playing a little violin. I used to collect these. I had elephants and mice and all sorts of critters. Um, I think that's why I'm probably still attracted to them. 
We will stick him in here for $8.95. All right, well, our total spend today was just shy of $400, but a lot of that were my flow blue pieces. <laughs> so that was probably about half, big chunk. Um, maybe not quite half. I can't do math, you guys know that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head on down the road. I think I'm gonna take a ride to Frederick and I will see all of you tomorrow so long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.